Hi, in this video we're going to create an app with a button and a label where the button changes the text of the label and we're going to do this with a .kv file. The .kv file will have the um, GUI portion of the code and the um, .py file will have the functionality of the code. But we will create the link between the button and the label in the .kv file. So let's code our .py file. You, I put the imports here and you can see we would have nothing here for the label or the button because that's going to go in the .kv file which kind of has the imports automatically done for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up my root um, widget which I'm going to call controller. You can call it whatever you want. Um, does, it is good to spell it correctly though. And that's going to be a box layout. And then I'm going to um, call, well, define my constructor. And from there, I'm going to call the constructor for the box layout class. And this is kind of standard. You'll be writing this pretty much every time. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I want to say what happens when I click the button. So I'm going to define a method that does that. And I'm going to call this method, and again, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it button click. And then what it's going to do, it's going to look for a label that because a self is associated with controller and you can see I haven't actually defined one but I'm going to define more about the controller within this .kv file so I'm going to change the text of that button to you have been pressed okay so that's all we need there and and then I want, now want to define my app class. And the reason we define the app class is that sets the event loop going. And within the event loop, um, it looks for um, things like um, event presses, things like um, pressing a button, for instance, that obviously we're going to be doing. And what we do there is we override the build function and what we want to do with our build function is call something that we want to be our root widget and we'll do that by retur returning a in an instance of the controller class. The next thing I want to do is um, I'm just going to say call something let's say my app equals um, an action app and then I want to do my app dot run. Now I could actually just have missed this out and put action app and dot run, but I just feel more comfortable doing that. It doesn't make any difference really. Um, it's just if I want to do something else later on. Okay, so let's do our dot kv file now. So I've got controller here, which was our base widget from here. And what I'm now going to do, first of all, is I've got this thing called label. Now, if you go back to what we did before, in the button bit it says it wants to change the label's text. So I'm going to tell it now what label is. And I'm going to say label is my label. Now I could say whatever I want. This is just an ID. Later on, I'm going to say I've got a label and I'm calling it my label and all this does is it basically says whatever wherever I define this can we have con um, can we have access to it from um, the root widget controller doesn't do anything else apart from messing that one up okay so now I've got my box layout and I want to change the orientation of that to vertical the default I think is horizontal and then I want a, um, a button to be added to that box layout 
it's important that this is indented from here. If it was level with here, I'd have this box layout with nothing in it, and then I would just be adding a button to the root widget, but I want to add my button to the box layout, which is within the root widget. I want my button to have the text um, click me. Again, these sort, those sorts of things don't matter. And then I want to set up an event that works with the button. And there are certain set events, and you can look them up. We'll look at plenty over time. And there's one called on press. So on the, you know, when we get a press of the button, can you do this? And it says, right, go to the, um, can you go to the root widget and find the function button click and do whatever it says in there. And that's all that says. And then I also want a label. And that label, because I want to be able to refer to it from the controller, I'm going to give it an ID. And I want that ID to be my label. So that means when we get, um, when we go to this function here, and it says change the text of label, it kind of goes back here, it says label, what's label? Well, it's my label, of which widget has got the ID my label, it's this label, and then it changes it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have that conversation though. So then we've got text. At the moment, initially, I want to say no click yet. And that should be everything unless I've made some mistakes. So let's run that. There we go, we've got a button, we've got a label. I'm gonna click the button and it changed changes to you have been pressed. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, do remember to subscribe. I've put a link to the code that I've used in the tutorial in the description below. Stay in infield with Winfield.